You already know that pi is 3.14 and so. And you surely know by heart that the circumference is 2 pi r, or pi times the diameter. But do you know how it's calculated? And how many decimals do you know? Because it has infinite digits and they better repeat the same pattern. Until 1956, 620 digits had been found by hand. The carbon record, with a computer of course, is 50 trillions, which took 304 days to calculate. Hmm. But how many decimal places do you really need? NASA uses 15 to calculate interplanetary trajectories, and it would take only 39 decimals to calculate the size of the universe, as far as we know it. I'm telling you all this because today we celebrate Pi Day. Oh, you think that's for freakies? Hmm. But Pi is not something abstract for maths, physics or astronomy. Anything that rotates, almost anything that moves, yes. Any angle, any curve, needs Pi. To see how much liquid fits in a syringe, for a plane to take off, to film a movie, to visualize DNAs, for the sign to reach your phone, for all that, Pi is needed. And nature is also full of curves, there are no perfect straight lines. Your face, your body, yes, curves. And where there are curves, there's pi. So pi, in a way, is everywhere, in everything. That's why today is also your day. They had fun celebrated by making music, drawing or writing with a sequence of pi digits. Oh, and reciting thousands of decimals.